<laughs> Willie Nelson, 23 years ago, when you had this vision of creating an organization to stand up side by side with family farmers, was it because it was the right thing to do for hardworking Americans who needed allies, or did you have an inkling then, a quarter of a century ago, how important family farmers were going to be to the lives of every single American a quarter century later? Well, as I said before, I'd always thought and led to believe and taught in the little town that I grew up in in Texas, Abbott, Texas, about 300 people. Ooh, let's hear it for it's one of those uh, towns where the population never changes. You know, every time a uh, baby's born, a man leaves town. So. <laughs> but we were told and taught how to grow our food. And we had a garden in the backyard. We grew potatoes, cucumbers, tomatoes, and it was great taste in food. We had potatoes, and during the wintertime, we'd throw them under the house. And it was hell to go in there in the wintertime and drag out some of those stinking, rotten potatoes that, that was under the house. I'm not, not going into that any further. But, but the farmer did work hard back in those days, and he's still working hard. And now he's, he's capable of pulling us out of this situation by not only growing food, but also fuel. Fuel is now a way for a farmer to improve his bottom line, make a little more money growing. And we can also benefit from that because we're not having to go around the world starting wars over oil. We can grow. <laughs> and let's not kid ourselves. That's what we do, you know. That's why we're there. That's why we'll stay until we get all the damn oil we can out of that country. Then we'll go to the next one. We'll go to the next. We have everything we need here. And we don't have to ship it around the world. We can do what they call sustainable agriculture, where everything that's grown in this area will be used by the, uh, the producers and the consumers in that area. So there's no costs of bringing in this and shipping out that. So you, you save the environment, you save transportation costs just that way by growing in the backyard or having a local farmer grow your food for you. So you can do that now. You can go on the internet and say, okay, I live in Abbott. Where's uh, the nearest farmers around here that I can talk to about growing my food? You can do the same thing here. So the main thing that I wanted to say is there is a way out of this. There is a light at the end of the tunnel and it is the small family farmer. Thank you, Willie Nelson. Obviously, perfect segue to Neil Young. Neil, I think everybody would agree we need more family farmers. Uh, there's the good food movement. There's the exploding demand for family farm food, which obviously far outstrips what's there. What's Farm Aid doing to create an environment where there will be more family farmers? Well, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, so I'd like to thank you all for coming here today, too, on behalf of Farm Aid. Thank you for your support. and. Uh, it's good to see you all, and especially you folks back here, too, so just want to say that. And uh, you said everything I was going to say in my speech when you introduced me, <laughs> so I'm just winging it. Uh, but, uh, no, look, really, I, you know, my brothers and I, these guys here, uh, we, we started out trying to save family farms because they were, uh, you know, dying on the vine so quickly and, we, and, and they were under attack from factory farms. So and we've talked about all that. Everybody here has eloquently presented that case of just trying to uh, zero in on what we're trying to do today and on a nuts and bolts level without getting political, without, without going into the bitter pills that we've had or anything like that and just looking into the future and, and, and going, uh, you know, what, it, what are we doing? What, what is farm aid today? There's no, you know, apparently uh, no, uh, in the press you read, there's no problem with the farms, we're doing great, you know, but that's, as, as was explained over here, that's not the case. But what we can really do is recognize the situation in the country. We, we're, we're at a place where organic food and good food, the demand for this food is, is really skyrocketing right now. We're at a place where in the major cities there's farmers markets every day of the week in different parts of the cities and things are really changing. And we're also in a place where there's not enough food to fill this void created by the demand. And, and we, so we, we need to bring back the family farm. 
it was it was under attack when we started and we did everything we could do to to protect the family farm and to help the farmers and to give aid and advice to farmers who uh, were part of the uh, uh, part of the, the group that John was referring to, and uh, we have our suicide hotlines and everything, and, and, and we do everything we can on a humane level to help uh, this problem. But really what we're doing today is we're trying to rebuild the family farms in America and fill the void that, that's created by this demand, and also rebuild it just like we're trying to rebuild the entire country and, and, and rebuild everything from what's happened. We, we're, we're in a mess, but the farms are are a great illustration of where we can start and something concrete you can do. You know, when, you, when farmers uh, outside of a, a university in Ohio suddenly start producing organic food for the cafeteria of the university and have a good business, and, and the kids are learning that this good food is food for thought, and, they're, and they're, they have a program that supports family farms, and th those kind of things are starting to spread around the country, and the awareness in our young people is, is spreading. And what we're trying to do is help through giving information to farmers, to new farmers, and to existing farms on how best to use their, their uh, resources and how best to plan for the marketing of their products to succeed. Uh, and and, and uh, we have our, our resource network we've set up that makes everyone aware uh, that wants to, they can come to the farm aid site and be directed. All the farmers in the country are, uh, have access to this, where we show you our ideas for how it can work. And all of this is based on our research over 23 years of talking to farmers on our hotlines and everything. So we're really in contact. We are a grassroots uh, organization, and, and uh, we're very strong in what we do. And what we're trying to do is rebuild the family farm network at its core around the United States and Canada to make it so that, so that the resources are there. And we, we all know family farm grown food is good for the, for the family, it's good for your, for your health, and it's good for the environment. So I think we should, uh, uh, one, of our, one of our staff members came up with a great idea the other day to uh, change the spelling of farm aid and make it more timely. So now farm aid could be possibly spelled F-A-R-M-M-A-D-E, and we could start telling people how to, you know, m buy food that is grown on a family farm, because it's good for you, and identify it. So that's what we're trying to do, and thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Neil Young. Carolyn, do you want to add something on the Farmer Resource Network thing? Well, Neil, thank you for describing this new, pro this new, um, uh, launch that we're actually having today. For the first time in these 23 years, Farm Aid has always had a hotline. We've always been there to answer farmers' calls. Willie knows about it. You all know about it. And we've gathered a tremendous amount of resources and partners all over the country. We've got over 415 referrals that we can now uh, securely refer almost every call that comes in. And this big book that we all use every day when the calls come in is now online. You can go online to the Farmer Resource Network and you can get help from any number, in any number of ways from any number of organizations. We have four key partners in this, um, in this launch. The National Agriculture Information Service, ATRA, the Orga Organic Farming Research Foundation, Bob, where I don't know where you are, OFRF, and the Rodale Institute. And um, we're, this is one of the things that Farm Aid does, and this is what we're raising money here for today, because this, took, this took a tremendous amount of work to put all these resources together, and it's incredibly productive because we feel very secure that we can refer people that are trying to make changes, farmers that are um, saying, you know, it's not working for me this way. I really want to see if I can seek out a different market or seek out a different way of farming. And if you go online and use the Farmers Resource Network or call our hotline, both of these ways are going to help you, we hope, and we're going to do a lot of outbound marketing to farmers, farmer to farmer this year, so people know about it. 